Hey, how's everybody doing on this beautiful Friday? You know, we're living in a lot of time where people are just running their mouths and wanting to protest. They get out there and think it's a great cause to protest. You got people using those protests to start riots. We're living in a time of uh, where psychological warfare is being used against the American citizen by the U.S. government. We're living in a times where both parties are corrupt. Because both parties are using the same system. They go out and uh, try to, en masse, form the opinions that are not true as far as being right. They're using people's emotions to divide us. They're using people's emotions to cause fear. And now... They're using something that is actually this common in nature to get us to panic and to cause chaos. And that's that, the cootie 19. I'm not saying that it's not a real thing, but you know what? Yes, it's a real thing, and it's a common thing of nature. Viruses, diseases come around. When you have the government using uh, contractors and the people that own these contract contractors, the companies that supply the contractors, are deeply woven into our government. They had, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll do stints as head of the CIA, head of the FBI, They'll be made head of this bureaucracy or head of that bureaucracy. And either before, after, and sometimes at the same time, occupy that government job and still head their company that the government's hiring. And to use psychological warfare. And how many times it's been said, propaganda. Because what is propaganda but psychological warfare? Now you've got the Democrats. National Convention is going on. Hopefully it's going to end soon. Where you got Republicans as the main speakers. Like I said, both parties are corrupt. A... Hey, um, Steve from Corsair's Trainer put up a video about to be well-rounded in your group that you want. You know, if you're going to have a survival group and stuff like that, just don't have everyone in the same mindset. <clears throat> well, I ask, <clears throat> pardon me, where do you draw the line? as far as being all-inclusive in your group. The standard answer is, if someone's a dirtbag, you're not going to let them in. The American Indians, when they would capture and take prisoners, they, a lot of the people they ended up taking prisoner eventually became members of the tribe. The ones that weren't members of the tribe often ended up dead. And there was a reason for that, because they were such a jerk, or they didn't listen, and through one way or another, got themselves killed. But, the way I look at it, as far as who do you want in your group, in a core group, you've got to be like-minded. And when I say like-minded, I'll tell you a story. There was this one guy... He had his set of morals and the, what he wanted to do and how he was told how to do it. And he went to work 
for this one big leader. And he was so good at his job and so trusted. The leader wanted to make him like VP out of the whole company, let's say company, that he had. Well, but there were some other people around there that they've been around a lot longer in this company, in this bureaucracy, than here comes this new Johnny come lately. I mean, they had generations here in, of time invested. They didn't like it, so they conspired against them, and they got the uh, head exec to uh, make some rules and saying that, okay, for the next 30 days, it doesn't matter if you're here at work or if you're at home, you have to do this. It's just a little thing, but you got to do it. And you can't do anything else, but you got to do this. Well, this guy said, no, I want to keep on doing because it is, I look at a higher, something higher power, a higher morality than just the president of this company, uh, the ruler of this land. And my first, and the, you know, it's like, and the whole reason why this guy was so good at his job because he put that higher power of, at number one, and that's how he based all of his decisions. Well, the little minions that were plotting against him got the, uh, the boss to go ahead and put this one rule in effect that you all got to go out there and just say, hey, y'all got to wear a mask for the next 28 days. Well, he said, I ain't going to wear no mask. When I breathe, I am going to breathe. And when I go, I'm at home, I'm not going to wear this mask. That's just an example. Well, these other folks were watching him here at home. They took pictures and they took it to the boss. They showed him, said, hey, he's not wearing a mask. And he said, anybody that's not doing this here, we're going to, you got to, you're, you're, we're going to kill him. Well, hence... He chose to do what he thought was morally right, and he got caught by the people that set him up. And the evidence was there, and he didn't deny it. He said, "No, I didn't wear that mask. I wasn't wearing a mask at home." But the the law of the land said, "Boom, you're going to die." Well, he was found guilty not wearing a mask, and he got thrown into the den of lions. Read Daniel, chapter six. And see how it relates to our times. We have a government right now that's totally messed up. It's a soup sandwich. And when I talk about people that's in my group, we, have, we rely on a higher authority. That's higher than the government, higher than our own wants. We're, we're called Christians. And we just don't go out and say, we're, hey, we're a Christian or whatever. We go out and practice it. And the number one thing it's, uh, that we go to do is love and honor God, first period. And the second is to go out and treat others the way that we want to be treated. And we're out there and we're supposed to be taking care of widows and orphans. But that's just one lesson out of the Bible. I use Daniel chapter 6 pretty loosely in a comparison on what's going on today. But you can see exactly how it compares to what's going on today. Okay, well this is Daniel. I'm drinking some coffee. I just got back. Got myself some primers. Got myself some powder. Got done canning some more potatoes. A little bit at a time. It adds up. And I'm out.